girl. Hello and welcome to my bed floor. I didn't feel like sitting on my bed because my bed always is too loud, it's just too obnoxious. And I just really felt like being comfy for this video. So I brought my comforter down here and we're going to answer some questions while drinking some tea because my throat is mad at me. I never do vocal warm-ups, which is dumb. I really should be. And when I do like a bunch of vocals like I did yesterday, the next morning, my throat hurts. Who would have thought that would happen? <laughs> so, honey, tea. Let's make my throat feel less gross. Do you guys like my new shirt, by the way? Look at it. You can't really tell. It's like blue, yellow, and white stripes. It's so adorable. And I love it. <sighs> This is some good tea. I always drink mint tea with honey. I didn't know that drinking tea with honey was a weird thing. I thought that was really normal. I think it's pretty normal in the US, not that normal in the UK. Like I promised, I got like the most liked and commented questions from my last video. And also I asked you guys on Twitter for some other questions and I'm just gonna go ahead and answer some for today's Wednesday's video. What is something that no one would guess about you? I really, really love insects and bugs and spiders. I love reptiles and I love everything creepy crawly. I think they're amazing. Insects are like bug. <laughs> insects are like bugs. I meant to say insects are like the robots of the animal kingdom. They're so incredible. And I'm not scared of spiders, so whenever there's a spider in my house, I'm always the person who is in charge of getting it in a cup and then taking it out. I love snakes as well. I think they're super cool. Danger noodle. <laughs> Please make a weekly meme segment in your videos or just a meme of the day segment. It made my life better. Here is your daily meme. I don't know which meme I chose, but I hope you enjoyed it. Can you get a P.O. box? I have some things for you. I really want to get a P.O. box because I feel like it would be so adorable for us to like exchange letters and things. That would be so cute. But I am moving pretty soon if everything goes as planned so it'd be kind of dumb for me to open up a P.O. box right now and then not be able to get any of the mail. You guys do know very well that I really love writing letters and things like that to my friends but also with P.O. boxes I feel bad because you guys can give me tons of things but then like I probably won't be able to respond to them which makes me feel bad. Maybe I could like have like a mailbox opening video every once in a while that'd be really cute. I really need to look into that. Hopefully this summer that could be something I do but for now I love your comments. I love reading them. They're like letters to me. And if I do any meetups or if I go to VidCon, then you can give me a letter there if you'd like. And I would really love it. What font do you use? They're so, so, so cute. Thank you. The font that I use that I get asked a lot of questions about is a font named Soap. I think it has several names, but Soap is the one that I use. It's a nice font and I love the font because it wasn't really any font that I'd seen anybody else use. And I think that one of the most important things about making content is making your content really easily identifiable. And so since no one was really using that font ever, it made it really easy for you guys to tell which one of my videos were my videos. And I really have a very close relationship with the Soap font font now just because of how much it is done for me and how beautiful it is and how cute it is. I also use the font Swansea Italic Bold, which is a pretty common one. I like to use the font Futura. I love the font Koshin. Yeah, there's a lot of fonts that I really like. I'm a big typography nerd. I'm a big graphic design nerd. I've been practicing Photoshop since I was in elementary school and Photoshop has just been always something I'm super interested in and illustration and things like that. So I really pride myself in my knowledge of fonts and colors and graphic design. I'm not saying I'm a great graphic design artist. I have never gone to school for it, but I really like doing it. Favorite Texas food chain? Hands down, Sonic. Freaking love Sonic. And during the summer, they do like half price shakes past eight o'clock or something. And me and my friends are always, always looking for ice cream past eight o'clock. So Sonic is where we go. We go, we get the Sonic, then we drive anywhere where there's no lights and then just watch the stars. I I freaking love Sonic so much. I don't really eat their food, uh, mostly just their like dessert items. And they're quick and so junky and so good. I love Texas. Favorite color. My favorite color is dark blue. It has been dark blue for a while, for about maybe like six or seven years. Before it, it was just normal blue, like a medium blue. And before that, it was orange. <laughs> I love the color dark blue though because it reminds me of so many things that I love, like the night sky 
and the ocean. I have a really, really close attachment with the ocean. I grew up right by the beach and going to the beach and swimming out really far was something that just always was a huge highlight of my year and spending time with friends at the beach. And I love the way the ocean simultaneously makes you feel so small and so free at the same time. I love the ocean. And I've been in Texas for a while, so I haven't seen the ocean in about a year and I'm getting antsy. I need to see the ocean. I need to be in the ocean or else I'm a freak. How did you find your art style? I don't really think I ever found an art style. I think I have an art style, but it's just something that came to me through years of making things that I love. I don't really think that artists should look for a style or like change themselves in order to have this distinct style. I think that artists should make things that they enjoy making and if there's certain things that you like, do that and that will just turn into your art style. It's definitely not like a like a search or a discovery or anything. You just kind of make what you love and whatever you love will turn into your style. Go to Starbucks order. I always get a tall iced coffee with three pumps of caramel and depending on the day, whether I'm really sleepy, really sassy, or really like wanna be productive, I'll get like a pump of simple syrup or just add some sugar in there. I have a really big sweet tooth, so I like sweet coffee. <laughs> How was prom? Prom was amazing. I went to two proms. I knew that I wanted to go to prom. While I was waiting to go to prom, I was really resenting going. Like I really didn't want to go just because of how much drama was associated with prom. I just didn't really want to deal with it. But the actual prom was wonderful. I loved how at prom, surprisingly, like you wouldn't expect this, but at prom, everyone kind of doesn't really care who you are. You just kind of mesh and people that you haven't talked to ever will talk to you and people who are popular talk to kids who are unpopular and things like that. It was really nice from my perspective. I don't really know what other people's experiences with prom were but I had a very good time and I danced so much. I love dancing. I'm really bad at it but I don't care. I just do it. <laughs> I just move my limbs in whatever motion I feel like is good and being in like a crowd of people listening to the same song even if it's a bad song is something that i really love i also went to mormon prom i went to two proms i went to mormon prom with my friend ellie gus caroline and morgan and we had a great time it was very different from my high school prom which i went to a week earlier there are a lot of different traditions and they played really different songs they weren't like weird songs they were still mainstream songs but they played really different songs which i thought was interesting and we had a great time there too we somehow made a conga line to the song thinking out loud which is a slow song someone twerked on me i don't know who he was but he was mormon i don't know if that's like against the mormon faith i didn't ask for it it just happened and i was really confused and i sang very very loudly to party in the usa by miley cyrus i put my hands up because they were playing my song <laughs> oh my god what do you take from creating is it to relax slash work through stuff slash show people etc that's a really good question and it's something i kind of had to like think about for a while i think that for drawing and painting I make art because I love the process. I love going through the layers and all the shading and all the intricacies of it. I love that because I'm super, super detail oriented as a human being. But after I make a drawing or a painting, I usually don't feel the need to show anybody. It's usually just for me, just for me to see and just for me to enjoy making. But for music on the other hand, I make it because I love sharing it. I think that music is one million percent the best way to share a feeling because, especially for me, I have synesthesia, so when I listen to music, I'm not only listening to the words and listening to the chords, but I'm also feeling the motions and seeing the colors and everything's so beautiful to me. And so music is like an entire experience to me. It's absolutely one of the most beautiful things and the thing that I have the most pride in making. And I love being able to share an emotion and seeing that other people can feel that emotion the same exact way that I'm feeling that emotion is so mind-boggling. It's actual magic that is unexplainable. But for both music and art, I do love the process and it does relax me, but it also really excites me and scares me even sometimes. So, 
EP coming. It is in the works, nothing official yet, but I'm writing a bunch and recording a bunch and working with a bunch of really, really cool, talented people. I'd love to make an EP and because of Idol Town and how well it's doing, I really think that I could absolutely make an EP and it's super, super exciting. Nothing official yet, but it's in the works. Don't you worry about it. I love how bad my posture is. <laughs> like this is this is good posture, but I knew that I was gonna have bad posture, so I just put my frame down here because this is how bad my posture is. So if you have any questions for me for my next Ask Cone, you can ask them in the comments below. Whichever questions that you see that you really want me to reply to, you can just give that comment a like. That way it'll be easy for me to see at the top. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Canon, because I usually do take a few questions from Twitter as well, because it's easy to get like updated questions from there. You guys always ask the best questions. Don't feel dumb if it's a stupid question. I'd love to hear your questions. I would love to answer any question that you have. And with that, I'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye. Beauty at a side.